It's loaded with yummy red and green crunch berries. But every time around Christmas time. Never make brownies. I've got to be tough now. Universal not. Thanks for that weather report, Phil. In other news, investigative reporter Charlie Miller is on scene at the Denver Center Theater Company, where a new production is opening in the Space Theater. How's it look out there, Charlie? Well, a crazy holiday comedy is what it looks like. But I hear there's some serious questions lurking under the surface, like, where do we come from? Where are we going? To find out the real-life answers to these questions, I caught up with the cast and director Scott Schwartz. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Scott Schwartz, and I'm the director of Reckless. Reckless is by Craig Lucas and is a hilarious comedy about one woman, Rachel, who is forced to leave her home on Christmas Eve because of an unexpected event. She goes on a wild ride through snowy nights and crazy characters as she discovers who she really is. Merry Christmas. It's a very odd, funny, strange journey through a, an absurdist world that Craig Lucas has created. But the interesting thing about Reckless is all of the main characters, in some way or another, have left a life behind. Tom took a contract out on my life? It's been a fascinating journey rehearsing the show, thinking about the characters' previous lives, and also how that's opened the actors to think about their own previous lives. Everyone has backstories which are different than we expect, and it's been really fun to learn about those. Okay, before I was an actor in my previous life, well, there were a lot of, uh, I guess, previous incarnations of, of what I did. Um, I was a security guard at MTV for a while. In my previous life, I had several incarnations, actually. Um, the most interesting of which is probably that I was the bouncer at a Latin nightclub. I slung coffee in the West Village. In my previous life, I, I have a vivid memory. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure if this is true, but I have a vivid memory of, of me being the actual body of Tweaky in Buck Rogers. In a previous life, I was a young Egyptian man surveying the land after the Nile had flooded. Uh, Job-wise, uh, I used to work in a hair salon. Before I was an actor here at the Denver Center, I was a janitor here at the Denver Center. I would uh, sweep the floors. I used to clean the bathrooms here. Organize inventory. And of course there were perks. We used to be able to take home all the half-used rolls of toilet paper. And uh, I had long hair down to here with a perm and, and highlights and all that stuff. Oh, oh, oh! I was a hot-looking guy. I don't know what happened. In my previous life, I uh, used to work at The Gap. Before I was an actress here at the Denver Center, I had a ton of different jobs. And one of my favorites was that I was the assistant to a manager who actually would let me call casting directors about myself, but only if I used another name and a slightly different voice. Lockworks Hair Studio, this is Jeff speaking. How can I help you? At which point I said, of course, just one moment, please, and crinkled a sandwich wrapper and then said, oh, yes, here's her address. Ultimately, I ended up getting promoted over and over and over again, and they kept throwing more and more money at me. Really, before I got into acting, before I went to grad school, I thought I was going to be an investment banker. This was a daydream slash out-of-body experience I had. It was a weird, a weird ride, but uh, I haven't looked back. Um, I thought about it. I tutored underprivileged children in science, math, and English. So for all you kids out there who are janitors, who want to be actors, I say go for it! I finally left when I was making $45,000 a year to become an actor. It's been a privilege to, to come and tell stories instead of having to suit up every single day. In Reckless, the past is always present. It's a central issue in all of the characters' lives. And that's one of the really interesting things about this play, is its exploration of the past and how our pasts shape our present and how we can move forward as human beings into the future. I don't know about you, but this reporter's future is to see the production of Reckless here in the Space Theater. For 10 Minutes to Curtain, I'm Charlie Miller, signing off. <laughs>